Hello and welcome to Tungsten Tales. My name is Mackenzie Cadman and here we are previewing every first round game of the William Hill World Darts Championship with Macy Ace, Chris Mason. So last game on, on Thursday the 14th, the first day at Ali Pali, we see the Welshman Gerwin Price take on the debutant Ted Evitz and this could be a bit of a good game this one Chris, couldn't it? Yeah, you can't help be, be impressed with, yeah. with young Ted Evitz at the qualifiers. I mean, was he 20, 20 years of age? Yeah. Um, knocking in, you know, 110 plus averages all over the place. Uh, we've known a little bit about Ted for, for a while now. Um, he's been sort of making waves and winning, winning sort of decent, you know, quality competitions mm. and opens. Uh, so it's no, it's no shock to see him, you know, making that next grade. I think he played on the development tour and the challenge tour with with success. Um, so yeah, I wasn't surprised to see him come through that qualifier and the way he came through it. I mean, it, it was dominant. He, he played very well all day. I watched him on the stream and I saw Paul Nixon tweet halfway through the day um, that Ted had come up to him at the start and said, if I don't win today, I don't keep my tour card. And I think it just shows these young lads, they've got no fear. They've got no expectation. They, they're not really bothered who they're playing against and no what respect, they've done before. That's for sure. I think, and uh, him going up against Gowen Price in the first round on the first night, I think it's going to be it's going to be interesting. Gowen's a player that likes to own the stage. He likes to give it a bit of ump when he when he wins, and I think it's going to be interesting because if young Ted Evitt sits the doubles early on, it could be could be an interesting game. Yeah, and I don't think that whole bravado of of Gerwin Price will bother Ted no, I whatsoever. Don't. I think. The, the way the game's played nowadays, it's played with a fair bit of a fair bit of fire in their belly. You know, these these young lads imitate other players, and uh, I don't think Ted's that. You know, he's a, he's a big lad, so he certainly won't be intimidated by, by Gerwin whatsoever. Um, and for me, Price is just sort of just lost his way a little bit. Um, he threatened so much at the start of the year, and uh, you know, he looked he, he looked albeit almost like the finished article, and and obviously isn't. Um, you know, he's, he's got himself involved in matches. He got himself involved with that match with Lewis at the yeah. at the World Match Play, where he really underperformed. And for me, since then, he's he's just looked very patchy. And if he's if he's if he's not on his game, and if he thinks he's going to get through with a 90 average yeah. in this one, that ain't happening. I think people even tipped him at the start of the season for for a Premier League place at the end of the Worlds. And yeah. the way he's going at the moment, I don't know. He really needs to pull his finger out of his pocket, really. And I mean, he, he played well. very well in the World Series yeah. events, which, yeah. which are totally different. You know, you, it's all, it was already down to a last sort of 16 or whatever. Mm. Um, you know, and he, he's, he's, he has looked good in parts, and he, and he looks the part. You know, if you, if you want a sort of a poster boy, he's, yeah. he's your man. You know, he's, he's come from another sport. He's fit. He's healthy looking. Um, you know, he's, he's Welsh, which is great. You know, it's from a, you know, we need we need players from different yeah. countries, you know, apart from our own and Holland and, and where else. But um, he's just, yeah, the summit not quite there. I'm not sure whether he's, you know, everybody can say, is there a right and a wrong way to practice? Absolutely. It's mm. like any profession. If, you, if you're doing the wrong kind of work and you're working on the wrong kind of areas, yeah. you're not, you know, that's not where he's weak. So it, it's just... You know, there's just something, something missing there. And, you know, this could be the night of the upsets. You know, potentially, with those four matches could produce on the opening night. You know, it's apart possible. apart from the MVG. Yeah. You know, we could have three three big upsets there, and I, and I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. So, can I push you for a result on this one? Gerwin or Ted? There's, there's no draw, is there? There's not. Um, uh, against my initial instinct, I, I, I am going to go for, for Ted Evans. I just think... I just think he's he's the one up there with uh, who's fearless. He, he's undamaged. Um, Price has been put through it this year. He's got that thought on his mind. If he, has, he knows if he has a good run, he's going to get in the Premier League. Experience for Ted. They well. can't keep putting yeah. the old Deadwood back in no. the Premier League. It's you know that we're going to finish in them same places yeah. over and over again. Um, you know, so he's got that. That's going to be extra pressure. Yeah. Uh, and I think if it if if Ted makes a good start, he'll be put under it. He'll feel it. And maybe Ted just nicks it. There you go, Ted to win. Stay tuned here at Tungsten Tales in association with Winmail Darts for all post-match interviews with the players and any live updates at the William Hill World Darts Championship.